Well, no, you? No, people love you, Jonah. We do. He's, he's the only person who has a fan club. He really does. No, do Bobby's do? got a fan club. No. no. He has haters. Yeah. <laughs> haters. Are, we doing this, are we doing this in here? What's going on? We can do it anywhere. This is for the high-end Prophecy Gaming Tables, which yes. Johnny yep. is the VP of that line. So, Johnny, we're building right now five of these high-end tables a week. And how many are we selling? More than that. We're sinking. No. Slowly. No, you got to the right way. No, business is booming. You're going to be hiring. You're driving it. success. I like it. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I don't know. This is all Nick. Nick pulled me in here, too. All me, baby. All me. All right, what's up, Nick? What the fuck <laughs> was the point of that segment yesterday? So let me tell you what I got from that segment after watching it yesterday. Mm -hmm. I got the vaults are ugly. Mm -hmm. Everyone looks like an asshole. And even though the vaults look ugly, we're still pushing the promotion through with yeah. no solution at all. None of those were my calls. Sure. It was your call is, to continue, that and is it was your call to end, say that they were ugly. Sure, but that is the front end perception I got from that segment. So like, why the fuck did we air that segment? Pretty much every single segment we put out that has to do with products or a promotion or something like that is about us critiquing it. Yes, like, but most of those have a solution. I offered a solution, sure. which was to push, like when the creative director and the chief design officer said that they both could be better, and then on top of that, one week ago we did Dirty Deeds, and then a week later we did a Kickstarter, and then another week later we're launching another promotion. It's just like, are we just gonna like focus? I feel like we're getting away from excellence, and it's annoying me. I hate that we're looking at this, and the solution was, oh, I don't think this is that good, but they would sell like hotcakes, so let's just do it. That's lame. That's lame as fuck. That we're just like, oh, we think this could be better, but we think people will buy it, so we're just gonna run with it anyway. I have come in to look at promos or Kickstarter page, and I've been like, I think this can be way better. And the decision has been like, well, we're launching. Like, that's happened before. Of course it has. So and like- I hate it. We haven't had one promotion in this entire year that we've been fully happy with. Uh, yes, I agree with that. We have been, we have been underprepared and we've launched late or rushed on I think every promotion that we've it's done because we're just trying to pump like four mm -hmm. Kickstarters a year fucking 12 promotions a year on top of social media on top of ads on top of podcasts on top of twitch on top of three episodes of where I'm life a week it's just like yeah I don't know if we're gonna pull out four Kickstarters this year but we're still aiming at it sure and you know we are we're yeah. still gonna try and do four Kickstarters yes Bobby it's the fifth month of the <laughs> yeah. year next what? week no this what is you... my quality is slipping because we're gonna focus on trying to do three more Kickstarters and instead of trying to focus on doing two more Kickstarters and actually making them kick ass instead of going down to the wire. That's gonna be your job exclusively. <laughs> oh. Now that this Kickstarter is launched, we should have like things planned throughout the Kickstarter, mm. but we yes. don't. Every single asset that exists of these stupid fucking dice <laughs> <laughs> are on the page. There's no more. Yep. So now we're just scrambling every week, create new content, make it fresh, make it fresh, new video, whatever, instead of actually being like, here's the plan for the marketing campaign. But I... we can't do that if I keep getting product literally like a week before we launch. Where are these tiles that you want me to launch? Do mm. they exist at all? They are being developed right now. Yeah, everything you're saying is correct. Yeah. You are gonna have two yeah. months, Bobby, to do everything that you were talking about. Yeah, okay, two months, and then th within those two months, we wanna do two more promotions. So as we wanna do all of this Kickstarter assets, you know, fucking JV's being pulled in this direction to take pictures of poorly designed Blades and Blossom stuff <laughs> that could have been way better. And then he comes over here, no, yeah, I'm serious. We're five guys. I just want to be realistic about what we want to do. Like I haven't felt super great about anything that we've launched this year. And I just want to fucking focus. I just want laser eyes. I just want to focus on something and make it really good. The last time the company was all aligned on something was MGT and look what happened. But that's where I'm at. Hello? Oh, what is happening? What, what, why? Uh, Bobby's Brandon Raven, he's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm not 
actually called the police using my Apple Watch, so they might be over. What? Um, <laughs> what? Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's, let's go, man. Let's, let's get out of here. Take me away, let's, Dougie. Let's get Take some me star away. power in this warm life. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. And, that instant karma. Where is this? <laughs> that instant karma. We're going to go talk to Adam about diamond bits. Sounds yes. expensive. They yes. are fucking expensive. We'll <laughs> get into that. Yeah. What does it cost to make your tooling out of precious stones? That's really the question. I don't know how it works, <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's expensive. Forklift safety train. I'm not even worried now. Train professional. Oh, what the heck? Diamond tooling, yeah. Diamond tooling. Can you go get, go get the tool we're going to replace? Yep, so these are the three tools we're looking to replace. All three? Yep. And these are all for the toppers. So oh, yeah, look. so we're we are getting diamond tooling to replace all of the topper tooling for modular game table. Yeah. Because we are going to be running at max capacity, we're going to run 600 topper panels a day. What is the issue with this one? So the blazed carbide on this keeps getting build up right here at the initial point of the cut because that's we, the most wear worn part. Do we have any toppers with that burn? Uh, let me check. Like we kicking around. Have, you can see the deformation right there. Yeah, that gets like worse and worse and worse. On Purple Heart, it's real bad because yeah. it's burned and it's like deep in the wood. So this is this is basically coming in like this. So you can see, see where the pitch build up is, Matt? Yeah, yeah. And you see that line? Right. See how that lines up perfectly? Yeah. And it's just the whole way around. So what I think is happening is we got like our blank sitting on the CNC. It's like looking at the side. And then we got our cutting bit that looks like that, right? Which is this guy. It like looks like that. Yeah. Oh, you did a good job. Yeah, it's pretty good. Dang. So it does two passes. It cuts like that, and then it comes and it cuts like that. And right. like that's all waste. The burning's happening like right here. All this is taking off on like this section of the blade. And then all this is taken off, but this section of the blade where that burning happens gets double wear. Does like two to three times as much wear as the rest of the blade. And will diamonds really help? According to Nick, our tooling guy, the carbides, how often do we swap those out? At least once a week, maybe every other week? Uh, at least. We swapped one of them out after three days. Yeah. We were pushing it so hard. So, wait, but these aren't indexable. No, this so is you, great. So th you throw this away. This yeah. bit. You throw that away. Some, sometimes twice a week. How expensive what? is this? <laughs> twice yeah. a week? Six to $800, I think. <laughs> this is six to $800. It was three weeks to get one of those. And yeah. we're throwing away how many a week? <laughs> Between one to two. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, well, this is where diamond tooling comes in. If we get a diamond tool, we might be able to run this all year or longer. Really? It's that hard. It's like a hundred times harder than regular carbide. Than the That's pretty awesome. But, and there is a but, a full set of tooling for one topper, I think it's $11,000 for all the tooling bits. And that's one bit of each. That's one set. So we need two sets because we got a two spindle machine. Oh God. And then we need two sets in the drawer in case we crash the machine. We need $44,000. $44,000 of cutting bits? But we don't have to buy any more cutting bits probably for two years. And you have to replace the cutter less, so yes. you're spending less we, time waiting. Uh, that's true. We don't no, replace, right. Yeah, we're, we're not doing tool changes. We're not dealing with wear. We're not doing rework. We don't have waste as much. It's disgusting. It is, but... Ah, it's smart. Like, it's also more expen expensive to buy a two-spindle machine, but you get twice the output. Yeah. <laughs> cheap. Cheap man right here. I'm the... No, I no. spend the money. <laughs> no, I, I agree. No, that, I mean, like, we like, got, if we keep going on this, we're going to spend $70,000 a year on tooling. No, we got to do what we got to do. No, yeah. I, I think it is the right play, but man. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's diamond tooling. We're good. Yeah. We're good. We're doing it. I would, uh, we're doing diamonds. Top diamond in the bottom rose gold. Yeah. We about to start an epidemic with this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had a whole
Oh, there you go. Yeah. Ooh, these are looking way nicer. Ah. Uh, they have magnets this time. Oh, they're still so fucking tight. So we asked for some anodizing. Mm -hmm. We asked for some like bead blasting or media blasting, which I'm guessing is these three. Yeah. So what is that? Raw. Yeah, raw sandblast. Raw sandblasted. Raw. raw. That sounds gross. That sounds painful. This yeah. Is sandblasted clear. What are these? This is a cool finish. This is Ooh. sandblasted with clear anodizing. That's metal? Whoa, wait, wait. That's metal. It's so matte. It looks like it's painted. No, that's yeah, so it looks it like does kind of look like it's painted. It looks like it's been primed. That's true. Yeah, they're tight. A little tight. Uh -huh. There are a lot of tight. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get it. You can't even open it. It's like well, a you, know, you need to work your fingers out, obviously. Yeah, that's the one part I'm missing. <laughs> I'm skipping finger down. You know, yeah, you skip, skip your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, like these sharp edges. This fucking guy's still going. 